I first started getting involved in it was a few, I guess about two or three years ago, they had a PD at our school and just introducing the thought of it. And we did some brainstorming and we did some word wall, we did some charts and just kind of thought about how to personalize our kids learning and that's where I just I loved it I absolutely love because I feel like each of these little kids they need to know how to learn in their own special way and they all have special needs and it's not just academic it's also I think you can personalize learning individually by the needs that they have in their own life you know and so that's how I got involved was, was through the PD at the beginning. I started with um, literacy first um, in kindergarten. It was my first year in kindergarten so I was getting to know the curriculum and a couple of the other teachers were starting with literacy so I kind of jumped on board with what they did. Um, as a school we had all started morning meetings um, together so I was doing that and then with each year I've gotten more and more confident and I've seen more and more things that work and things that don't go so well so I've been able to take on more of the creating and planning responsibility once I got some ideas to start with. First, a group of us that were chosen at Ridge Road went to the Personalized Learning Institute over the summer mm -hmm. that Jill facilitated, and it was absolutely wonderful. Um, we all were in this together, and we didn't know exactly what this process was going to look like, how our classrooms were going to be designed, where to even begin. So a lot of us were very overwhelmed. Um, and feeling like, how do we go about starting this? And are there schools that we can even look and see how this is modeled? Uh, we didn't have those options, so we kind of just all started looking at four cornerstones of personalized learning and thinking about what are we already doing in our classrooms to differentiate and to provide this flexible learning for our students and how to personalize it. So each of us in the school in Ridge Road took ownership over a different cornerstone and started rolling that out in our classrooms. So that was year one. It was scary. Um, our principal at the time that um, did complete the application process and everything to for us to be one of the cohort schools, he was all in and he made you believe in it. So that was um, made it a little bit easier and he had the sense of where failure is okay. So that made the transition a lot easier than it could have been um, and he was like, like I said he was like an all-in person so he created that culture around our school that you know we're in this together no matter fail success everything we're here together so that in that sense it was better but then it was also scary because everything I learned in college was kind of like eh, out the door so it's like you just finished college I did my first two years like finally feel like I'm getting my feet wet know what I'm doing and then it's like okay let's just you know change everything, but then it makes so much sense that it wasn't, even though it was scary at the time, now it's like, oh, this is what we should have been doing all along.